Hello, and welcome to the Honeywell Max Pro Cloud how-to video series. In this video, we are going to cover how to use the visual management page to control areas. The visual management page allows control of areas, doors, and cameras, checking their status, and viewing them on a floor plan. All three levels of user and site operator roles may access the visual management page to control the sites to which they have access, and may do so from the Max Pro Cloud website and mobile app. To access visual management, first go to mymaxprocloud.com and log into your Max Pro Cloud account. Once logged in, from the dashboard select the menu icon in the upper left corner of the page and then select visual management. When the page loads, it will display a list of all sites to which you have access and display a map which is similar to the dashboard with the locations of these sites. To access a site, either select it from the list on the left or click on the site icon on the map. You may also filter the sites by labels using the labels filter to help easily find a particular site. Once a site is selected, the screen will display the floor plan along with all the devices which have been populated on that floor plan. Select the Areas tab to view all the areas on the selected site. This tab will be available if the site has an intrusion controller added. The status of the system will be displayed at the top and all the areas on that site will be listed below, each with their respective status, which updates in real time. You may view the specific status by selecting the View Alerts button, which displays the area, zone descriptor, and state of the zone. Checking boxes next to the areas allows arming or disarming of multiple areas at the same time. Selecting an area will list all the zones in that area, their descriptors, and status. Any zones that have been added to the floor plan will be indicated by an icon that matches their status. Selecting a zone icon on the floor plan will also select that zone and jump to display that area on the left. At the bottom of the left pane will be a button to arm or disarm that area. To arm or disarm, simply select the button and a confirmation window will appear. Confirm the action to control the area. If you are attempting to arm an area and there are faulted zones within that area, you will instead get a window listing all the faulted zones and the option to bypass those zones and arm the area. Disarming is done in the same manner, but uses the disarm button instead and will show if the area is armed. If an alarm has occurred, two disarms must be performed to acknowledge and clear the alarm. After the first disarm is complete, the button will change to a reset button, which will allow the second disarm. This concludes the steps to control areas from the visual management page in MaxPro Cloud. Remember that the MaxPro Cloud Web Help Configuration Guide provides a wealth of information and additional step-by-step -step instructions. It can easily be accessed from any page in MaxPro Cloud by selecting the question mark icon in the upper right corner of the screen and selecting Help. The guide will launch in a separate window from which you may browse or search topics. Additional resources may also be found at HoneywellDiscoverTraining.com. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.